This video will demonstrate the proper steps to replace a Dometic power awning with a Solera 12 volt power awning. To begin, you'll need the following tools during the installation. An assistant, cordless or electric drill or screw gun, appropriate drive and drill bits, socket wrench, 7 16 inch socket, rivet gun, locking pliers, chop saw, cordless battery, wire stripper, wire crimper, ladder, silicone sealant, and a non-permanent method of marking. First, using a non-permanent marker, draw a vertical line along the inside of both the drive and idler side support arm assemblies. This will act as a guideline for reinstallation. With the awning fully extended, remove the two screws securing the awning fabric to the awning rail. Remove the wire covers. Then remove all fasteners from the lower and middle sections of both the drive and idler mount arms. With the power disconnected, pull the wiring out of the sidewall and disconnect all leads from the unit wires. Connect the motor leads to a cordless battery and retract the awning so that approximately 12 inches of the awning fabric remains extended. For both the drive and idler side support arm assemblies, secure the outer arm to the mount arm using the nylon ties provided. With additional assistance holding the support arm assemblies, remove the upper fasteners from both the drive and idler mount arms, then pull the nylon ties tight. Next, carefully slide the entire awning assembly along the awning rail until the polycord clears the channel. Place the awning assembly on a clean, level surface that is free of any debris that might scratch or damage the roll tube or fabric. On the idler support arm assembly, insert a cotter pin into the end cap to lock the spring head in place. On the drive support arm assembly, drill out the rivet securing the end cap to the roll tube. Completely detach the support arm assembly and internal motor from the roll tube. Using a 7 16 inch socket, remove the bolt securing the idler head to the support arm assembly and detach the head from the support arm assembly. With a firm grip on the roll tube and the idler head firmly secured with locking pliers, remove the cotter pin from the end cap. Carefully release the tension by slowly unwinding the spring head. Drill out the rivet securing the end cap to the roll tube. Completely detach the idler end cap and spring assembly from the roll tube. Still working on the idler side of the roll tube, unroll the fabric. Then slide the fabric towards the drive side of the roll tube so it is well out of the way. Using the tape provided, align one edge of the tape with the edge of the roll tube and wrap the tape around the roll tube. Using a chop saw, cut the roll tube along the edge of the tape applied in the previous step. Any sharp edges or burrs must be filed down to prevent injury. Next, drill holes into the roll tube using the end cap as your guide. Secure the Solera end cap to the roll tube with the provided rivets. Repeat this step at the other end as well. Center the fabric on the roll tube and secure each end by installing the provided quarter inch pan head screws through the polycord into the roll tube. Then, re-roll the fabric back onto the roll tube and cut off the extra polycord. Now, insert the shaft of the Solera idler head assembly into the end cap. Align the holes and secure with the provided number 832 by half inch wax screw. With additional help holding the support arm assemblies, insert the polycord into the awning rail channel and slide the Solera awning assembly along the awning rail. Place the drive side support arm assembly directly under the awning rail so the top of the mount arm is touching the bottom of the rail. Align the drive side support arm assembly so that the holes at the bottom of the arm are covered and aligned with the mark made in step number one. Secure the upper section of the mount arm to the unit with two of the provided number 14 by one and quarter inch screws. Repeat these steps at the other end of the idler support arm assembly. Cut the nylon ties containing the support arm assemblies. At the drive side support arm assembly, connect the motor leads to a cordless battery and fully extend the awning. Remove the wire covers to expose the lower and middle sections of the mount arm. 
Please note, if the power leads exiting the unit do not align with the hole in the wall mount arm, a new hole must be drilled out on the wall mount arm prior to securing the lower and middle sections of the arm so as not to damage the unit. Now, secure the lower and middle sections of the drive side mount arm to the unit with the provided number 14 by 1 and a quarter inch screws or rivets. Make sure the arms are square on the wall of the unit. There will be two screws in the lower holes and two screws in the middle holes. Repeat these steps for the idler side mount arm as well. Prior to securing the fabric, run the awning in and out a couple of times to square the fabric on the awning rail channel. Now secure the fabric and the awning rail no more than one inch inside the edge of the fabric on both ends using a number six by half inch hex head screw. Install the screw down through the awning rail into the fabric and polycord. If you have any questions about the installation process, please call 574-537-8900 for more assistance. Thanks for watching.